So it's finally happened. Mr. Zuckerberg himself has come out and said that he has tried the Apple Vision Pro and he gave his thoughts on it on his Instagram account yesterday, February 13th. And as somebody who's not tried either the Apple Vision Pro or the MetaQuest 3, I'm interested to hear his thoughts. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. So I finally Shot tried with Quest 3 Apple's Mixed Reality Pass Through. And, you know, I have to say that before this, I expected that Quest would be the better value for most people since it's really good and it's like seven times less expensive. All right, that's the first thing that you hear on every single Apple Vision Pro video that you watch. If you go to the comments, that's what everybody says is you can get the same thing for way cheaper with the MetaQuest. So I'm interested to see what his actual thoughts are. Uh, but after using it, I don't just think that Quest is the better value. I think the Quest is the better product, period. And, you know, the different companies made different design decisions for the headsets. They have different strengths. But overall, Quest is better for the vast majority of things that people use mixed reality for. I don't know what people use mixed reality for personally. So I'm interested again to hear what the heck people actually use it for. But that's an interesting take. Now, my friend Kenny is actually capturing this video on Quest's high resolution mixed reality pass through right now. We're, we're just here in my living room and you, know, you can see his... So I know it says that in the video, mixed reality pass through, that that's what it's being recorded with, but I didn't actually notice that until they shot to that shot of his friend Kenny. So that's pretty cool. His browser windows and you know, whatever else he's got running up here. Uh, so yeah, Quest 3 does high quality pass through with big screens, uh, just like Vision Pro. But we also designed it to be great for a lot of other things, uh, moving around, playing games, um, hanging out with friends and socializing, working out um, and more. Quest. You know, I think it's just... Did he just say working out? I know it looks ridiculous when people are wearing the Apple Vision Pros out in public, but I've never seen a Meta Quest 3 in the gym, so that's kind of strange. A lot more comfortable. Um, you know, we designed it to weigh 120 grams less, which makes a really big difference on your face. Um, there's no wires that get in the way when you move around. It's a big deal. Our field of view is, is wider, and I found our screen to be brighter also. And as somebody who's never used these... That is another complaint that I've seen is how heavy the Apple Vision are. And I've never been a fan of that look of the cord going to the battery in your back pocket. Um, I also noticed that, you know, Apple's headset has this motion blur as you move around, which um, Quest is just a lot crisper. Now, Apple's screen does have a higher resolution and, and that's, that's really nice. But I was surprised by how many trade-offs they had to make to the quality of the device and the comfort and ergonomics. Um, and other aspects of the display and artifacts in order to get to that. Now for input, Quest supports uh, precision controllers that are great for games. Um, both headsets support hand tracking, but you know I found ours to be a little more accurate. I didn't realize that the MetaQuest 3 has hand tracking. I thought you had to use those little stupid looking controllers. So is it actually, it's actually able to pick up people's hands and do the same typing as the Apple Vision Pro? Apple's eye tracking is really nice. Um, we, we actually had those sensors back in Quest Pro. We took them out for Quest 3, and we're going to bring them back in the future. Um, it's a nice interface. It's not perfect for everything, though. For typing or complex tasks, um, you're going to want uh, things like hands or a keyboard or controllers or eventually a neural interface for those kind of inputs. Quest's immersive content library is a lot deeper. You know, we've been working with studios, uh, building virtual and mixed reality games and other content for a long time now. And if you want to watch YouTube or play Xbox on a big screen anywhere you go, uh, that's only available on Quest for now. I think that is the biggest selling point, that there's so many apps and features missing with the Apple Vision. And the fact that the Quest has been around longer, so you have more uh, studios and companies that are actually working to produce content for it, that is huge. So, you know, when I look around, it, it seems like there are a lot of people who just assumed that... Vision Pro would be higher quality because it's Apple and it costs $3,000 more. But, you know, honestly, I'm pretty surprised that Quest is so much better for the vast majority of things that people use these headsets for with that price differential. Now, look, I know that, you know, some fanboys get upset whenever anyone dares to, to question <laughs> if Apple's going to be the leader in a new category. But the reality is, is that every generation of computing has an open and a closed model. And yeah, in mobile, Apple's closed Model 1. But it's not always that way. If you go back to the PC era, uh, Microsoft's open model was the winner. And in this next generation, Meta is going to be the open model. And I really want to make sure that the open model wins out again. The future is not yet written. So you know, I want to take a moment to just thank everyone who's been building with us for more than a decade. Um, that goes for both Quest and uh, the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, which are doing 
way better than I even hoped that they would. Um, you know, as the old saying goes, the best way to predict the future is to invent it. So I'll see you all out there. So again, as somebody who can't use the Apple Vision Pro because I live in Canada and I'm not about to drive across the border to drop 3,500 US on this device and someone that doesn't own the MetaQuest 3, there's a lot of things that he says that I do agree with. However, I do think that it's probably not the most fair comparison because of how long Meta has been in the game. So they are fortunate enough to have the systems in place, uh, to have the partnerships in place so that their product does have more content that's available and more things that you're able to do, such as the gaming, uh, different streaming services, etc. <laughs> And obviously the price point is a major barrier. So as someone from the outside looking in, if I were to decide between the Apple Vision Pro or the MetaQuest 3, I think it would be a pretty easy choice just based on the fact that the Apple Vision Pro costs seven times more than the MetaQuest 3 does. But that being said, it is the Apple Vision's first iteration. And so I only expect the price is gonna come down. Anyways, my hope is that the price would come down. If you look at the original Oculus Quest release price, it was $399 USD and the Meta 3 obviously cost more than that. I do really think though that Apple's intention with the Apple Vision Pro was to produce this first round so that developers can get their hands on it and start to make more content for it as they develop a cheaper model. Will that cheaper model be actually affordable? I don't know. Like I, I don't imagine that Apple would ever release a Apple Vision without the Pro moniker that costs anything less than $1,500, but at least the price point is more accessible to more people because really and truly at that price, you're knocking out a ton of people that would ever want to buy this thing. And so if Meta takes this head start that they have and the partnerships that they have, everything that they have set in place already, I do think that they're gonna be the leaders in this space over Apple. That's just my personal opinion. And so while Meta is more focused on the social aspect and the gaming and things like that, it does seem like the Apple Vision Pro is more suited towards the professional slash productivity side of things, or at least that's the spin that a lot of people are putting on it right now, probably because of how limited it is currently. But I definitely think there's something to be said for both of these products. And it's super exciting to see that Zuckerberg took the time to make the video in the way that he did, rather than putting millions of dollars into some stupid ad that no one's gonna watch or care about. At the end of the day though, it's nice to see two leaders in the industry going at it head to head because it only benefits us as a the consumer. They're gonna be forced to not only ensure that their products are great products, but also try to bring the price down in order to continue to compete. And with that being said, I think his video actually convinced me to go ahead and order a MetaQuest 3 to see if this whole VR, AR thing is actually worth it and where we're at currently. But yeah, let me know down in the comments if this is something that you're into. Do you own an Apple Vision Pro or a Meta? Which one do you think is better? And where do you actually see this whole AR, VR, spatial computing thing going? Yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.